Hello my beautiful ladies and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Anna and I usually talk about beauty, fashion, plus size fashion uh, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those uh, things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I post a video which is usually every Thursday. Uh, and if you're an old visitor, Hello, my friend. Welcome back. I, uh, I'm so glad to see you here. Okay, so for today's video, as you can see by the title, Five Outfits Inspired by Jackie Kennedy. Uh, so why Jackie Kennedy? Why, why her? Why these outfits? Why in general? Well, I wanted, I wanted to uh, put my money when, where my mouth is because I have been talking about core wardrobe, those timeless pieces for how many previous videos I can't even uh, remember. But anyhow, I just wanted to show you uh, what I have been talking about. So I, that's the reason why I picked Jackie. First of all, I love her style. She's one of my style uh, icons and inspirations. But I wanted to show you that uh, all these five outfits that I'm going to show you today are mostly created from those core pieces. And uh, those photos that uh, of Jackie that I will show you are 40, 50 years old. So you can see what I'm talking about, that those pieces are timeless. That And you're not going to look... Um, vintage like you know how those girls that love vintage clothes they look amazing by the way but uh, these outfits that I chose from uh, Jackie are timeless are still relevant are still wearable as they were like I said 40 50 years ago uh, they are still look modern and nice so yes that's the reason why I picked her just to show uh, just to showcase that I have uh, that I haven't been talking about this for just for a reason to shoot a video that there is a reason for all this that there is a reason for those timeless pieces and that they are worth the money invested in majority uh, and before I start majority of my pieces are actually pretty old I, some of the pieces that I use in this video are like two, three years old, some are like 10, 15 uh, years old uh, that I have in my closet. So you see what I'm talking about. The only, I think, one piece, and it's the black blazer, is from that uh, H&M haul uh, that I will link somewhere if you want to check it out. But everything else is at least two years old. I can't even remember. And that's why the um, there are pretty much sold out like all the items but I will try to find the closest possible uh, items that, uh, that I can find online and I will link them down below if you want to check it out or if you want to try them for yourself uh, to maybe uh, create uh, one of the looks that I'm creating today so yeah let me stop rambling because I can go forever like this but yeah this is this is just to show uh, show you that I truly believe in what I'm talking about I truly believe in building those core pieces in those timeless pieces that they don't look old they don't look um, out of uh, outdated uh, that they can be worn in the 60s as much as they can be worn in 2020 2021 oh my god i missed one whole year wonder why but anyhow that is it let's start with the outfit number one okay so let's start with outfit number one as you can see this is just simple plain uh black top and white pants she's barefooted because she uh, this was taken uh while she was on vacation in Italy, uh, she's holding a scarf. She loves wearing scarves around the, her head to protect her hair and her oversized, uh, big oversized glasses. So uh, I paired mine with a little bit more elegant top, like 
those knitted uh, those knitted uh, t-shirt tops uh, and Ann Taylor white pants and the Zara kitten heel white uh, white kitten heels as you can see not I didn't uh, pair it with a scarf because but I don't know I just didn't need it but anyhow as you can see this can be worn like barefooted like she did just sightseeing uh, on while you're on vacation or if you pair it with heels and if you just add a blazer on top you can go to the office and everything in between for even more casual look you can just take basic black uh, t-shirt and white jeans and some uh, sandals and you will have a classic stylish and beautiful outfit for everyday errands during the summertime and you will look polished as well. Outfit number two. This is similar option. She is, this was taken in the 80s while she was working in New York as an editor and she's wearing a skirt and a button down, black button down shirt and her famous Jackie, Gucci Jackie bag. Uh, and of course, oversized glasses. That's pretty much uh, in every <laughs> photo. Uh, that's a staple for her, as always. Uh, why I chose this one? Again, it's simple, it's timeless, it's elegant, and it's probably something that you have in your wardrobe already. Uh, I didn't have a skirt like this. I have uh, th this color skirts, but more pencil skirt, which would work as well. Uh, but I wanted to pair them uh, with sorry my dog is here so I apologize if you hear noise uh, but I wanted to pair them with uh, beige wide leg pants uh, paperback pants because they're really trendy and there are uh, they work with this outfit as well like I said skirt would work uh, perfectly but I wanted to pair them with uh, pants just to show you that there are different options of course black button-down shirt is always classic and it's always nice um, for bag chose a big slouchy Gucci Soho bag just because I think it goes perfect uh, perfect with this kind of outfit and of course big oversized sunglasses you can find them cheap anywhere or invest in uh, designer uh, more quality ones whichever uh, works for you it's good but like I said this outfit from daily errands to the office it's it works it's still it's nice classic elegant outfit and outfit number three I uh, picked this one because it's fun but still elegant and it's a little bit off those classic timeless pieces but uh, I want you to see that it still works if you pick something that was worn, outfit that was worn in, I think this was late 60s, 70s, I'm not quite sure. Uh, and she's wearing a black, uh, I actually had, um, I saw this picture uh, as well, this was taken in Italy, I think it was late 60s, beginning uh, 70s. She is with her sister uh, Lee. She's wearing a black top, polka dot skirt, um, gold sandals, and the belt is gold, goldish, like dark gold, uh, and gold earrings. So I wanted to go get as close as possible, and I'm wearing uh, that my top is actually old navy dress, just simple black old navy dress. My skirt is from Laura, it's Canadian brand. I have it for a couple of years now. Uh, and I picked, <clears throat> this is the only gold belt that I had, but I think it works nicely. The only difference, I did have a gold sandals, but I preferred my black uh, heels with the gold uh, buckle just to tie my earrings and my belt and everything perfectly uh, as you can see it's simple uh, but fun outfit for summer like I said you could wear 
uh, this with sandals, it will work. Uh, uh, and also, I even tried with the brown belt and brown uh, heels works as well, so that you have that option. Uh, also, I forgot to shoot that, so I apologize. Next time, I will uh, try to uh, show you more options, but uh, I was a little bit in a rush, so this is, it is what it is, but like I uh, said, I think this is nice summer outfit. Uh, again, you, uh, you can wear it on your vacation or dinner date uh, with your friends. It works for office as well. So as you can see, these, option, uh, these outfits are really versatile and can be worn from day to night. Uh, and like I said, we we'll probably have similar option. Maybe you don't have a polka dot skirt, but you have a striped skirt or animal print skirt or maybe a gingham skirt or something like with some kind of pattern, uh, flower pattern, anything pretty much will work as well. It's just, this is just to give you a little inspiration or how to style uh, things together and what to wear. As you can see, uh, she wore her pieces uh, perfectly because she knew what she liked, she knew what worked for her body uh, and she stick to that and she, yes, yeah, she wore trendy pieces, of course she did, uh, but she, majority of her wardrobe from the 50s to until her death was uh, those timeless pieces that she knew she looked really well in them like uh, just straight trousers, trench coats, simple tops, those simple uh, simple uh, things like button-down shirts, uh, scarves, oversized glasses. She found pieces that uh, she can mix and match and always look polished and good. Outfit number four. Um, this is more a working girl kind of outfit, but again, it's simple, it's nice, it's trendy. This is from the 80s. Uh, she said she was working as an editor in a publishing company. Uh, and this is just a simple example of a basic black suit, white uh, button-down shirt, and just with adding a fun, colorful scarf, how much it work, uh, it makes a difference. This option is timeless and classic. I would work, this combination would work with any color suit, like just uh, switch the color of the scarf uh, to match it to your suit and it would work perfectly uh, and uh, I picked this one because suits if you watched any of the previous videos suits are very in very trendy right now everyone is wearing them but this is a little bit more not sporty kind of thing that, that to wear with sneakers even though you could but just for uh, just to make it a little bit more elegant for an office or even a, a dinner date or something like that, it would work. Perf uh, it would work really nicely. So that's the option. Mine is actually my option is actually not a suit, like I mentioned at the beginning. The blazer is from H and M Hall. The pants are from Ann Taylor. Really old pants, uh, but as you can see, they work. Uh, as well, they work together. Uh, my button down is actually for my husband. I stole, uh, stole it from him, so don't, don't tell them. And this scarf, I can't even remember where I bought it. I have it for God knows how many years. Uh, my shoes are coach, and that is it. Like, simple, classic, timeless piece that is fun and again born in the 80s and born in two, uh, 2021 and they're all uh, both look good if I can say that myself uh, it's still 
it's still relevant, it's still good, it's still nice. That's why I'm, uh, that is my point of saying uh, to try to invest as much money as you uh, as you can for those core pieces uh, because they can last you for a very very long time and you will be so happy that you did. Okay, last but not least, outfit number five. Uh, on this photo we can see her full uh, outfit but I just wanted to compromise if I can say that. Uh, anyhow, she's wearing a coat here with a scarf and oversized glasses and of course a uh, jacket bag. But because it's spring and summer I didn't want to try to style this with a coat because we can. Uh, and why I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, make it a little bit more weather appropriate for this time of the year. So I started with trench coat uh, first and foremost because Jackie was huge fan of trench coat. She wore them all the time. Uh, so and I wanted to give you an option for those uh, spring days, uh, colder days. I don't know where you live, but we have like for today, for example, today is a really nice day. It's really warm. Uh, it's really nice, but tomorrow the weather forecast is for rain and for very gloomy weather and really and cold weather. So trench coat and this kind of style is perfect. You can wear it uh, with jeans or with pants, like if you're going to the office with one of the previous outfits that I showed you, it would work. Uh, maybe not with a skirt kind of thing, but with everything else it would work perfectly uh, so I wanted to show you an option with outwear uh, and I pick sage green uh, trench coat it's from additional uh, because sage green is really popular color this season so I wanted to incorporate a little bit more trendy things but also timeless uh, pieces and of course silks scarves and oversized glasses are always timeless and I'm wearing my ja my my own Jackie uh, bag that, that I absolutely love. But even the the bag Jackie bag is from the 50s. So again, timeless bag, timeless outfits, timeless pretty much everything. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you an outwear option of not just. To show you summer outfits but something um, to incorporate pretty much a little bit of everything like so yes this is just simple and classic outfit I, again you can uh, style it like this with your coats during the winter time or uh, in the spring and fall uh, with your trench coats it doesn't matter the color you can uh, always uh, mix your scarf with whatever you're wearing just to add pop of color and that is it. So yes, these are the five outfits inspired by Jackie Kennedy uh, Onassis. Uh, as you can see, I try to give you options for casual summer uh, outfits for doing errands to maybe date nights to uh, what to wear to office and even like uh, how to incorporate your outerwear uh, this spring and summer as and as you can see all these outfits I try to uh, I try to style the, uh, these outfits as close as possible to Jackie's original outfits just to show you that it still works like I said uh, if you I'm repeating myself like over and over during this video but if you invest in those core pieces and if you're smart when you shop they will pay off and I will try to if you want me I don't know if you like this uh, please leave me a comment down below if you like this kind of video would you like me to maybe pick some other stylish ladies uh, those style icons and pick their outfits and try to make a version modern version of it uh, for you guys to how to uh, mix and match 
if you do, which lady would you want me to uh, style, if I can say that, for you guys? Uh, yeah, uh, please let me know down in the comment. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear if you like this kind of uh, videos. Do you like me to continue with them or not? Uh, please let me know. And I loved uh, playing with this. I loved uh, picking Jackie, like I mentioned at the beginning, because those photos are like 40, 50 years old and they're still relevant. Her closest, uh, even if you go on Google and uh, Google her in images, you will see majority of her outfits are still relevant and you can pretty much copy paste it today and uh, they are still wearable and fashionable. So yes, that is it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Uh, like I said, please let me down in the comments down below uh, if you did or not. And if you're not subscribed already, please uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with algorithm. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all next Thursday. Bye for now.